Dreadf Healthcare Stories Part 2 Attitudes I'm the niece of a dragon. She's the letter that accompanied the lab results that went to my doctor from the specialist of endocrinology and metabolism. I sure this unfortunate thing old women in our orphans my <laughs> My impression is she is far more intelligent than she looks to me. So my hospital stay ended up to be five months in the hospital. I had to tra transfer me several times a day because I needed to go to x-ray and stuff. But nobody would listen to me about how I, how I needed to hold Hold on to my legs. They came in, just pull back the covers and start lifting. And they were like, we do this every day. We know what we're doing. Oh, just relax. Let us do our job. And when the, when they went up to lift me, you heard this loud pop in my knee. And it's like my knee just went one way and the rest of my body just kind of fell over onto the gurney. I was set in excruciating pain that, again, I'm not a crier usually, <laughs> but all I could do was cry. And when I felt, <laughs> I felt so, Like, I was being treated less than a human being. The first surgeon I saw recommended a procedure called a hemipilvectomy, hemipilvectomy, which involves removing part of my pelvis and my entire leg because of the location of the tumor. And uh, when I expressed a lot of concern about this, he expressed his opinion that he didn't see why that would make a big deal to me since I wasn't walking anyway and was a wheelchair user. And you know, it just amazed me that he couldn't see all the other aspects of losing a major part of your body might have even though you couldn't walk. At one point when I was in the hospital, I noticed that my right leg was hurting. So, Finally, the resonant that was covering that floor, I said to him, my right leg is broken. And he wouldn't believe me. Right away, he should have said to me, oh, okay. He should have said, oh, well, 
he has a lie, she knows what a broken leg feels like. And she's telling us that her leg is broken. We should act on that. It made me very, very frustrated. Um, what? What is this? Healthcare Stories, made possible with generous support from the Special Hope Foundation and the Manuel D. and Rhoda Mayerson Foundation. For more information, visit dreadf.org slash healthcare dash stories. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 3.0 unported license.